There are literally endless possibilities when it comes to the projects you can make with your CNC. But what if you wanted to focus on projects that you could sell immediately? Well, let's start by identifying what characteristics make for such a project. The first one is focusing on simple and repeatable designs. Now, I'm not talking about just cookie cutter products. I'm talking about simple designs that don't take a long time machine, but they have the ability to be customized. One of the two main strengths of a CNC is the ability to design something once and then to repetitively cut it out. You can batch things out, you can make things quickly. I'll get into the second strength here in a second. The second important thing to focus on is making products that are made out of easily accessible materials and tools beyond your CNC, of course. Using materials that are easily sourced and machined will help you get items made quicker and get to selling them quicker. So using the home improvement store, for example, the prices are higher, but you know that wood is dry. It's usually the size that you need and you, you know what you're getting. If you're gonna venture out into hardwoods like walnut and cherry, uh, I would look up a hardwood dealer in your area, a hardwood store, whether that's a chain or whether that's uh, individually owned sawmill. But one place I would avoid is Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You don't know what you're getting. And if the wood you get is wet and doesn't have the correct moisture content, your projects will be ruined. They'll warp and bend. The third thing to focus on is matching your product that you're making to a specific customer. A common mistake that is made that slows the whole product selling process down is that we just think of something in our head and we make it and we hope someone likes it. But if you can create a product specifically for a certain person in mind, then you're much more likely to sell that product because you're creating something for somebody. What I recommend is start making products, post pictures of them on your Facebook page, on your Instagram, and don't even say that they're for sale. Don't even put a price on them yet. Just start building a portfolio. People start seeing what you're capable of and then people start inquiring saying, hey, is that for sale? And then you can start the conversation. So also this is where the second strength of the CNC comes in with personalization. So you can put someone's name on a basic product. You can put a date. This is really how you can make something for somebody specific. The fourth and final thing that you must do in order to sell these products immediately or as quickly as possible when first getting started is making products that have a use. People wanna be able to see a product and see it in their house and see how they're gonna use it. So if you can create a product that has a function and is appealing and is personalized for them, it looks good, both form and function, those are the products that will sell immediately. All right, so with those four parameters in mind, I've come up with five projects that I believe will sell immediately. The first project that I came up with are these house number signs. I made this particular one out of oak and it took roughly about an hour to carve out in the CNC, but this project could be made out of pine, it could be made out of anything really. This one's pretty easy to personalize because it's actually someone's address. Now you could change up the design, but this is just a simple advanced V-carve using two tools and took about an hour to carve out. This is a product that sells really well to friends and family, but also scales well beyond that to Etsy or your own website because every house has a number in front of it. So great potential here. The second project that I came up with are ornaments. Now people love ornaments, typically around the Christmas time of year, but I picked this because of the unlimited number of designs that you can do and personalization. These are products that do really well because you can batch them out and you can personalize them with individuals' names in the middle. One of my personal business CNC strategies is to sell items and make items when people are buying items. So this happens around holidays, it happens around anniversaries, it happens around birthdays. I'm creating a product for somebody for a, a certain purpose. All right, number three, candle holders. This is the simplest project on this list, and I put it on here because of its simplicity, but because of its ability to be replicated and customized. I made this one out of some simple pine from a two x four that I got from the Home Improvement Center, but any material can be used. This project can be created really quickly. I created this one in less than 10 minutes, and it's easily replicable. 
You could also scale this one up. You could go wider, but you could also go longer. Odd numbers always do well. So this one's three, but you go five, seven. So there's a lot of options here to customize it. But you're also not just limited to a rectangle. You could make different shapes with curves and really make it unique. And it's not gonna add a whole lot to the production time. This is an item that would sell well across the board. I would even dress it up and put the lights in it and maybe put a ribbon around it. I think you could sell this as a gift already made. So that's what I mean when I talk about taking a simple product, a simple idea, candle holder. It's a block of wood with three holes in it, but taking that and expanding on those different things and turning it into something unique. The fourth project in the list are trays. Trays, trays, trays. So there's a lot of trays being made out there. And the reason there's a lot of trays being made out there is because there's endless number of designs and customizations that you can do. I made this particular one for my wife for Valentine's Day, and it's just a simple heart made out of cherry. It took me about 30 minutes to carve this on the CNC. All right, in order to make your tray stand out amongst all the other trays out there, Focus on personalization like we've been talking about, but also focus on intended use. Just don't make a tray and just put it out there and hope someone likes your tray. Put a, a use, an intended use to it. This is a nightstand tray and that's, this is why it has this pocket and this pocket and this pocket. Or this is a kitchen countertop tray and that's why it has this and this and this. Putting something with it is going to make that product sell so much faster than if you just put it out there and look at my beautiful tray. Help people picture how they're gonna use your product. The last project on this list are baby name puzzles. I made this particular one out of plywood and it took about 30 minutes to carve on the CNC. This is actually two different cars. You have to carve the, the female piece and the male piece. This is another one that's really easy to make unique because it's made for somebody. It's made for a baby with a certain name. So you really don't have to get creative with the personalization here. These name puzzles will sell great to friends and family, but also Etsy where you can take custom orders and you they can put their name in and you can cut out their name exactly. If you can make a product that has a use and can make people feel something or remember something important to them, these are the projects that sell immediately. Start by selling to the people you know, take what you learn from those experiences and apply it to move out to Etsy, move out to other social media platforms, and eventually you could move out to your own website. Carbide3D has some really neat things going on. Be sure to keep up with all of that on their website, which will be linked in the description. If you wanna learn more about me and my personal CNC journey, you can check out my YouTube channel, Andy Bird Builds, which will also be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.